Hello, go ahead and start unboxing this Godzilla now. So I bought this um, Pasevarna all-wheel drive lawnmower. The model number is um, let me find out the stay somewhere. Um, it's actually 23 inch self-propelled lawnmower. Um, I think it's HU725 AWD BBC. Um, especially got it for all-wheel drive. And also I think I've got this feature called uh, the blade break. Um, that seems like kind of interesting for me because it used to be pain like whenever I'm like, traveling or moving the lawn and trying to you know, start the lawn mower for something, it kind of stops the engine and then you've got to kind of restart the engine, right? That part is something that kind of looking really interesting on this machine. Um, so, just got it. Okay, let's, let's try, uh, you know, unbox it and uh, let's set this thing up. And now so we'll kind of do some quick, uh, you know, test on you guys. So, let me try to kind of thing. That's done. And then I'll just start. Okay, that's pretty much what I see inside the box. One more on the other side, just need to pull it out. Okay, there you go, guys. This is pretty much what I have inside the box. It's kind of nicely you know, packed and kind of looks neat actually. Kind of like this color, it's, it's uh, uh, looking great. Also, the materials are looking good. Um, it's not really very really plasticky feel. I can definitely see that kind of feel. Uh, from my own lawnmower that I currently have it. And it seems like it's going to be a bit heavier, so I may have to kind of stop the video here and start it again. Um, so, pretty much done with all the setup, and uh, now I think it's time to pull the card to start this uh, lawnmower. Uh, let me just quickly go through like what are the things that I had to do to get this thing set up. Uh, as I was saying, I think it took probably around like 30 minutes. I had to kind of stop in between for personal work. Um, but yeah, I think I just managed to get this thing started and like get it done in like 30 minutes. So I think it's, it's, it's pretty neat. Don't have to really like spend a lot of time. And also I think they did give a very good instruction, you know, paper. It's really useful. It's kind of like, you know, big enough and you don't have to really, really kind of struggle and search for like, you know, what are the steps and how to go forward with the steps. Right? It's all like really bright color, like big pictures. So, you know, Pause steps, just go through that and um, get this thing set it up like quickly, right? So, really, what I have to do is right a couple of uh, bolts that I have to. I think this part just need to kind of you know set this thing up here so that this will stand before that it was not really standing, so it's kind of like folding. So, I have to set this thing on, uh, set this bolt on both sides, and uh, of course, um, I had to kind of tighten this thing up because it was earlier it's folding. That's something that I have to do uh, for getting this handlebar up and standing. And then uh, what I have to do is, I think this uh, wire here, this is basically the, thing, the engine rod wire, I guess, right? So that's something that's uh, out there open. So I had to set this thing up. I did that. And um, I think that's pretty much it, really. Um, so those are the kind of three steps that I had to go through. And yeah, so the most important thing is that I had to kind of put this uh, um, mulch bag, uh, which is very straightforward. Though. So it kind of you know, pull this thing out. It just came out like that, and um, it's pretty straightforward. So I just need to kind of pull this thing, and I guess it has got this nice uh, spring thing, and it has got this screw right. Um, so it just goes and like sits in the groove. Um, these two you know, nine sides, so it's pretty straightforward. Let me just go and like, uh, you know, fit this thing because I don't think I can kind of, I don't have a proper camera set up here, kind of playing around with my hands, so let me just do that and then show it again. What I have to do is, of course, I have to kind of fill up the oil. So they actually gave me an oil, uh, it's actually in the box, so let me just quickly fit the oil. Okay, guys, so I think this is the oil that I got and um, 
I just uh, I think fill like half of it which actually kind of filled up the engine I guess that's good enough and then I have to put the gas on the other side of the engine so that said I think it's pretty much ready for pulling the string so I can probably start it I guess and I guess there are like a couple of uh, sections here this kind of looks pretty kind of new for me um, so this I think I could go on the stop mode and then there's fast mode, slow mode and then stop mode so I need to kind of play around to understand really like how these things work and then stop means stop so this for engine stop like this and uh, there's a fast and slow mode this for engine that's for the self propelling motor to run I guess and uh, so this is pretty much what I have here I think that's for the throttle um, I think we've got like both the sides um, I was actually looking to some instruction videos and I guess it's not really for like front wheel and back wheel it's just for the you know uh, convenience you can just use for either one side or both the side of it that's something that we can do and that's pretty much what I have and I think now I can just go and like try to start this thing up and see how it starts and I'm assuming it's going to start in like one pull um, let's give it a try